Matt, moving forward, what do we need to see from these 49ers to get a win? I mean, they play a very beatable Indianapolis team. Even with Jimmy under center, what do you want to see them improve on? Execution is a big thing. Um, defense needs to get more takeaways. Offense needs to be a little more buttoned up. Play calling definitely needs to be buttoned up. And unfortunately, I think they're going back to Jimmy Garoppolo, but uh, I'd like to see them let it rock with Trey Lance because the only way that he's going to learn is by being out on the field. Right. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And we said it in here. Basically, you're, you're delaying the inevitable. Just get it started. Get him the, the experience he needs right now. Um, I'd like to see the running game get a little more, you know, more plays. <laughs> I don't really know. I yeah. mean, Kyle, Trey Lance was the leading rusher, like I said, with 89 yards on 16 carries. Um, Elijah Mitchell was second with nine carries and 49 yards, 43, excuse me, yards. Um, Trey Sermon only got one carry, I believe, in the third quarter. But Mitchell was, I think, playing well to the point where that really wasn't an issue. Um it's tough, man. It really is tough. I'd like to see how you get more involved. They're going to be without George Kittle for, you know, that game. So whatever they can do, whether it's get Dwelly involved, I don't know. But the one thing that I like today, the offense moved the ball. Um, we didn't see, I believe there's only one three and out, if I'm remembering correctly. Whereas with Jimmy under center, there were plenty of three and outs. So if Jimmy is going to be the starter again, we need to see him consistently move the ball in order to, the 49ers to win. Yeah. Um, I think somebody threw it out online today um, that the 49ers average like 4.8 yards per play under Jimmy Garoppolo, and they're averaging over six with Trey Lance in the last six quarters. It just gives you all you need to know. Uh, Trey Lance, at the very least, keeps defenses honest, um, and they move the ball. Now, whether or not that continues, of course, he's going to have to you know, be more consistent throwing the ball. But at the same time, uh, you know, you can't just backtrack to Jimmy Garoppolo and start and stop and start and stop Trey Lance's development. It's just not going to work. So get him out there and let let him. This is his team now. So I agree. Um, Nick Bosa, they asked him about Trey Lance. He said, definitely like what we saw from Trey today. He hung in there. It was fun to watch. He definitely runs the ball hard. Might need to learn how to slide, work on his juke move a little bit too. Um, look, I'm seeing vet. And, you know, captain after after leader come out and basically and, and don't get me wrong. They're not going to talk down about Trey, but I think that they liked what they saw from him today. Yeah. And I think they're kind of hinting we need to roll with him, you know, I mean, at the at the very least, he's he's gotten a battle stripe. You know what I mean? And the team's going to be able to kind of rally behind him at this point. Now it's like, OK, now you've got your first start under your belt. You're an NFL player. Like now we can rock with you if, if need be or whatever. So. Yeah, I agree. Um, Debo Samuel continues to impress. He was very, very good today, even though the stats necessarily not quite up. He had three catches, 58 yards, average 19, with belong of 26. He had a couple of really, really impressive catches. Um, there's stuff that we talk about with Trey Lance, Matt, that where simply Jimmy cannot do. And we talked about it to start the show. I believe it was a third down pass to, Brandon Ayuk on the left side, um, that ball placement was just immaculate. I mean, you couldn't have asked for a better ball from Trey Lance. It's stuff like that that you see that you think, okay, this is exactly what we want. This is exactly what we need, and it's only going to get better with time. So I really cannot fathom going back to Jimmy. Yeah. I mean, even listen, even if eight of our nine possessions ended up in Arizona territory, like Joey said, they're, they weren't three and outs, so you're actually eating up clock. They won the time of, of possession. So that's key in giving your defense rest. The problem with Jimmy is when he's doing three and outs all the time and your defense has to immediately go back out on the field when they're not ready to, you know, when they haven't even gotten a breather yet. At the very least, because of the run-centric nature of what Trey was doing and the fact that they weren't having three and outs every single drive, even if they are finishing in Arizona territory – you're at least giving your defense enough of a break to kind of regroup and, and regather that energy so that they go, go out there and at least put your offense in position to, you know, better attack late in games. Like I said, Arizona scored 10 in the first half, seven in the second half. And that, that's a very well-rounded defensive performance. And that's not something that we got against the Seahawks who scored seven in the first half and 21 in the second half because Jimmy started going three and out after that first drive. Yeah. 
And, and look, they held the, the Cardinals to half of their average, which I thought was impressive. Um, they're averaging, they were averaging 35 heading into this game. They held them to 17. Um, Kyler Murray, he was held to 239 yards on 22 attempts, and he had that touchdown. He's only he was only averaging seven uh, a pass. On stats, I think Kyler Murray looks a lot better than he actually did. I know he had that really long pass, uh, I believe, to Hopkins, where Ward just kind of stood by and <laughs> watched. I think Ward kind of overran it, and then when he was coming back by that time, Hopkins was already hauling it in. Um, I thought they played well, man. The defense Hopkins made a lot of our DBs look silly, though. He did, and, and he'll he's do so that. Good. He's so good. Those are the kinds of ones you just have to live with, unfortunately. You know he's going yeah. to get his, and you just got to hope that you're better and they weren't they weren't today yeah yeah um any final thoughts matt before we wrap things up here we'll let you guys get to the sunday night football matchup nothing really um just don't overreact don't write off trey lance don't you know immediately call for jimmy to come back it's it's going to take time for this to kind of to get settled in the way that the 49ers are going to want it to be settled um to gear up and plan for trey lance the way that they want to plan even the holding calls and the tip passes and stuff. Trey Lance moves in a way that they're not used to. So it's going to take time to adjust. And if you keep swapping out quarterbacks, it's not going to work. Um, you just have to make a decision and go with it. So I hope that Kyle makes the right decision, even though I'm almost positive he won't. Um, but the other thing, too, is 49er fans got to be nice to each other, man. Y'all are some angry, angry little gremlins. And y'all got to calm down. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Um, stop jumping to these crazy conclusions based off of somebody liking a post or whatever the right. case may be. Relax. Right. Nobody pushed your child down on the pr- playground, people. It's football. No, it's a sport. Exactly. We're supposed to be fans. Don't get too crazy with it. We're not Raiders fans, guys. Yes. Have a little more class. Yes. Be classy. Things will get better. It's only a matter of time. Things will get better. We'll start to see Lance. Um, yeah. but who knows when, but he's there and the 49ers will improve. Um, I think that's going to do it for the show, guys. It's kind of a bummer, but we knew it was going to be a tough game for the Niners. They ended up, you know, only losing by seven, which is still yeah. sad to say, but we appreciate you guys tuning in. Hit the like button um, and hit the subscribe button. Help us get to 1,000 subscribers so we can give away a 49ers jersey. Absolutely. Today was a painful one. It was a valuable learning lesson. Um so thank you guys for joining us. I know it was kind of a little bit of a bummer stream because we're just kind of, you know, trying to get past everybody's stuff and and really look forward to the rest of the season. There's still a long way to go. I'm hoping we see more Trey Lance. Um, next week, we got the week off. So hopefully the team can regroup and go forward. So until next time and against the Colts, go Niners.